and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to what is a season-defining Champions League tie between Napoli and Barca. And that is no exaggeration, by the way. In terms of Barca here, this is absolutely huge. In terms of Chaffee, this is definitive. Can we find a big performance? Can we rise to the occasion in the Champions League? Or is this the end? Is this the end of our Champions League run this season? Is it the end of our title hopes for the season? Is this the end of Xavi's time at Barca? All is about to be revealed on Wednesday at the Diego Maradona Stadium. So let's get to it. Because kickoff is coming to us on Wednesday from Naples at 9 p.m. local time in what is usually, on a night like this, a very, very fierce atmosphere that we will need to overcome in order to take a good result into the home second leg. And of course, this right here, guys, it is Barca's first Champions League knockout game for three years. It has been a long time since we've even experienced these kinds of nights in the Champions League. And although it hasn't really really arrived with the kind of spirit that we hoped it would. You know, we're not arriving into this game full of confidence, full of optimism, really. But what is interesting here is that there are players in this squad that have never even played a knockout game in the Champions League, that haven't even experienced a two-leg tie at this stage of the competition. And the question now is, can we go out and play without fear? Can we see some freedom in this Barcelona team and maybe see the Champions League as an escape? from what we've had in La Liga, from the difficulties that we've faced, and just try here to prove a point. Try here to do something, to stand up in this big game. And do I believe that that could happen? Is there any chance that we could see that from Barca here? Honestly, guys, part of me wants to believe, and I don't know if I'm delusional, maybe I am, but I want to believe that we can. I want to believe here that we could attack this game, that we could somehow find a result and maybe make a step forward. And one of the reasons behind that is not even to do with Barca. Because let's talk about Napoli. Because if you are talking about the Napoli team from last season, they were the title winners in their country, much in the same way that Barca were. Napoli under Spalletti were outstanding. And I have to say, it was incredible to see them win the Scudetto again. After many years, they're trying to achieve it. And to see the celebrations in Naples, such a football-mad city, it was absolutely outstanding. But... If you think things are bad at Barca this season, Napoli, they're actually worse. It has genuinely been even more turbulent for them. Because let me hit you here with some quick-fire numbers. Syria position, they are ninth in the league right now. Which means they are a whopping 27 points behind the league leaders as it stands Inter. They have the 13th best Home record in the league there, in the bottom half of Syria, in terms of goals scored, eighth in the league, and in terms of goals conceded, they are seventh. And quite honestly, guys, Napoli this season, it's been a bit of a mess, and something simply had to give. And that is why Napoli, just days before facing Barca, they have sacked their second coach of the season after Walter Massari was shown the exit door on Monday. And like I say, that's incredible. Just days before a massive game like this. And what has happened now is that Slovakia's coach Francesco Calzona has replaced him on a deal until the end of the season. And what sort of reaction will we see now from the Napoli players? Of course, it's such a short space of time there. You can't really expect anything major there to come from the coaching overhaul. But sometimes we do see in football that new manager bounce, a different atmosphere, a different feeling inside of the club. We happen to be Napoli's first opponent since the change and we want to hope there there's not an immediate reaction because I do think it's also very interesting here. Let me hit you with some more numbers which may suggest there's more to this Napoli team than what they've been showing this season because in terms of possession, they're top of the league. In terms of shots per game in Serie A, 
they're top of the league as well. And in terms of chances missed, they are fourth in the league. So those numbers there would imply that they have the capabilities to be in control of the game, to have the ball there, to get shots away. But ultimately, it's been about the finishing. And that is why, guys, I look at the two teams right now. In terms of Napoli and Barca, there are so many similarities. They've got the potential to do better, much like ourselves. They're clearly lacking in confidence, much like ourselves. And this game has the potential for both teams to bring their seasons back to life, given everything that's happened before it. And the big question is going to be, which team is going to take that chance? Which team is going to snatch that opportunity to give their season life? Will it be Napoli? Or will it be Barca? Because make no mistake about it, this season, guys, one of Barca's biggest struggles has been defensively. We have not been there, in all honesty. We have conceded far too many goals, far too many chances. And if we continue to do that in the Champions League, surely you feel as though we have to be punished. And when you're looking at Napoli, the danger players that they have, today we actually spoke over on More Talk FCB about Kvarat Skelia. He is an absolutely top winger there, that one versus one. If we leave him open, if we leave him there, we space to manoeuvre, he has the ability to hurt us. No doubt about that. He is a top, top player. And then I also want to talk about Victor Ozimhan. He is, of course, Napoli's biggest goal threat. But coming into this game, there have been fitness doubts surrounding him. Will he be able to play? Will he be available to face Barca? And I don't think he will be quite ready to start unless there's a really late decision on that. But I would still expect him to play at some stage. So when he is there, when he's on the field with Kratzkelia, we have to keep an eye on both of them. We've got to be wary of where they are, pick up the runners, and do not allow Napoli time to hurt us. However, do not fear, because Barca should have some great attacking players of our own because I think this is a massive game. What an opportunity for young Lamine Yamal in the Champions League knockout stages. He's going to start this game and what a moment it's going to be for him because the past few weeks, guys, he has been on another level. Genuinely, at times, he has carried this Barcelona team at his age to be doing what he's doing is extraordinary and just imagine if he could light up the Champions League. Just imagine what that would mean to him, what that would mean to Barca, that is something we are really hoping for. And I also want to see, guys, by the way, alongside him, let's see Robert Lewandowski continue this goal-scoring streak. We have seen him hit the back of the net on several occasions over the past few games. Some of them have been very, very good goals and finishes too. This is the time to do it now. He is a player that loves the Champions League, that lives for this competition. So let's see your best level here. Let's raise it now. Let's give it everything to score and be clinical in a game like this. But in terms of what Barca are going to be lining up with on Wednesday, I think it's interesting today to see the squad list that has emerged and to see João Felix back in the squad. That is really good news there and is in addition to Chappie's front line if and when he chooses to use him. I feel as though João Felix not going to start the game but he may come off the bench there and he could still provide an impact in this tie. And also today, Sergio Roberto back in the squad with the medical green light. And I've got to say, guys, when you're looking at the starting lineup here. I'm actually quite confident. You know, usually I'm sort of like, is that going to be the team? Is it not? Am I going to get that right? But I honestly feel as though we can see what Chappie's going to do here. And that's kind of worrying in a way because if we can see it, the chances are Napoli know what to expect. But let's go through it here. Ter Stegen, Kunde along the back line with Araujo and Inigo. I think Chappie there is going to go with as much experience as he can. Cancelo then playing as the left back. And then in midfield, I think we are going to see Christensen continue in that holding midfield role along alongside Franco de Jong. Gundogan is going to come back in alongside Pedri. Chaffee there, I feel, will go with that four midfield setup, trying to get some control, trying to keep things as tight as possible in that area, which means then in attack, there is room for two players, and they will be Lamine Yamal and Robert Lewandowski. Like I say, I've got to keep that form going. We have to keep there the danger in our attack. Play the midfielders, try and get on the ball, try and have extra bodies in that area, but we must come here and carry a threat. We can't allow Napoli to feel as though they can push up the field, that they have the freedom to go forward because we're not offering enough going the other way. This team has to be on it. This team has to give everything from the first minute without any concentration lapses. That's a big ask. 
But can we see it? Because indeed, guys, when we are looking at the predictions ahead of this game, I thought that was going to be really interesting. I've got to be honest with you guys. I actually didn't expect this many people to be in favour of a Barca win. I mean, it's great to see. It's always good to see a bit of confidence, especially ahead of a big game. You can't fault us there. We like to believe. We want to believe that Barca can get this win. But can we? You know, we don't want them to let us down again. We don't want this to be another big game where you're thinking, OK, this is your chance. This is your opportunity. Go out there now and show it. We don't want to feel let down again. We don't want to let this opportunity slip between our fingers. But do let me know, guys, your predictions there in terms of a scoreline. What do you feel like will happen? What would you be happy? What would you accept heading back to the home leg? Please do let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below. And I will see you after the game for the full reaction to it. And I also do want to just say today, guys, a huge, huge thank you. I want to see from the bottom of my heart there for all of your feedback, all of your support on Talk Tennis. It really does mean the world to me there. And I'm very, very thankful to all of you. Lots to come across all the channels. Lots of excitement, I hope, that's going to be happening. And hopefully it starts here in Naples. I will catch you all soon. Thank you indeed for watching. But until next time, as always, Vishka, Yelbasa. Uh -huh.